Now let's talk about overdose. Well, in 1974, eight people snorted inordinate amounts of LSD after mistaking it for cocaine. They developed comatose states, hypothermia, vomiting, gastric bleeding, and respiratory problems, but they all survived with hospitalization. Many of the reports of serious harmful effects of taking psychedelics are from case reports rather than during controlled studies. There have been two cases of reported deaths by psilocybin overdose, but researchers argue that there's too little information to rule out the possibility of cross-contamination, meaning maybe it was actually something else that caused their death. There have also been some case studies where people thought they'd taken a psychedelic, such as LSD, but had actually taken a different drug. For example, a married couple took what they thought was LSD, leading to the wife's death. The media blamed the death on LSD, but the autopsy revealed that they had actually taken a different drug, 2,5-B-N-B-O-M-E. Psychedelic-related deaths from car accidents and other reckless behaviors do sometimes occur, but as far as researchers are able to confirm, there are no known deaths caused by overdose to LSD, psilocybin, or mescaline. We can compare this to alcohol-related deaths, which toll 3 million globally every year. And every year there are 350,000 opioid-related deaths. Now, researchers have recorded psilocybin lethal overdose in rats, and they extrapolated this rat lethal overdose and calculated the lethal overdose for humans. Assuming a human would be 60 kilograms, or about 130 pounds, the lethal overdose would likely be 1.7 kilograms, or about 3.7 pounds, of dried mushrooms, which is 17 kilograms, or 37 pounds, of fresh mushrooms. The lethal dose of pure psilocybin has been extrapolated to be about 6 grams, which is a thousand times the effective dose of six milligrams. Now, several researchers indicate that the major harm related to psychedelic mushrooms is from misidentification of mushrooms, as there are many poisonous species of mushrooms that can easily be mistaken for psychedelic mushrooms. The number of deaths from this, though, is unknown. Now, the closer a drug's lethal dose is to its effective dose, the more dangerous that drug is. For instance, the lethal dose of heroin is only about five times the effective dose. But with LSD, the lethal dose is 1,000 times more than the effective dose. Therefore, it's virtually impossible to overdose on LSD. There has been one recorded LSD overdose. And this was Tusco, a male Indian elephant at the Oklahoma City Zoo. On August 3rd, 1962, researchers from the University of Oklahoma injected Tusco with 297 milligrams of LSD. This is nearly 3,000 times the human recreational dose. Within five minutes, Tusco collapsed to the ground, and an hour and 45 minutes later, Tusco was dead. But it is disputed whether it was the LSD that killed Tusco or the tranquilizer they administered to keep him sedated throughout the experience. 